And what's good, gang? It's your boy Moochie Robinson coming in with another video. Before I get into it, please like, share, and subscribe as I bring to you more Eagles content on the daily. So here it is, breaking news. Other than the Philadelphia Eagles, Carson Wentz is on his way to the Washington. Uh, I mean, I just don't know what else to say about it. I mean, I was laughing all day as soon as I got the word. I mean, granted, it's like he didn't do good over it in, um, for the Colts. What makes you think he's going to do good over here in Washington? Now, as far as I'm concerned, he do have a good wide receiver core over here. Do the wide receivers even like that? Um that Carson Wentz is coming over here. Do you think he's going to make the team better? Uh, I just don't like how the, his arm, I don't like how he throw the ball. I mean, he's too lanky with his arm. He folds under pressure. Obviously, you can see what happens with him with the Colts. Um, excuse me, with the Jaguars. I mean, as far as, you know, being the worst team and for him not to get past the Jaguars, what do you think that he's going to do over here in Washington? Uh, he got Terry McLaurin. He got... Um, Samuels, he got Carter, he got uh, Mine, he got Humphreys, and he got uh, Michelle. Because I remember Michelle being with us for the um, for preseason, but we had cut him. Now he's over there. So I mean, John Rivera. I mean, I guess they was desperate. I mean, if they need, a, I mean, they need a quarterback. I mean, but other than that, what else can they do? Now the only thing I could say about Washington, they play as a team. Uh, I always say that there's no stars on Washington, but they definitely play as a team for these couple of years that John Rivera been on there. So, um, I mean, best of luck to him. I just don't, I mean, and then they gave up like two-thirds, I think, I believe, 2022 and 2023, they gave up, I think, two-third rounds or uh, two second rounds. I don't know, but you can correct me in the comments. But uh, <laughs> I just don't know because, again, you only been with the Colts for one year. You you done horrible. Then you come over to back over to you know the NFC East with us. Now it's going to be um it's going to be Hurts versus Wentz. I mean, and let's see how that's going to come up, come about. Now I will say this: if he plays against us, he's going to be traumatized because after what's going on, far as him used to playing for the Eagles, this was supposed to be his team. Now he left his team because he kept on complaining. He went to a team that he really wanted to um, uh, to play with. He played with Frank Wright. He was supposed to do good against him. Frank Wright even said, I stuck my neck out for him and look at what you've done to him. So now you think you're going to come over here and do and do better? I mean, listen, teach his own. So until then, uh, we'll just have to see. And that's why it leads me on to say this. Now, uh, my weekend was good. I went to the Philadelphia Car Show with me and my daughter. And while I was there... Uh, as you can see in the picture, I feel like Boston Scott because how short I am as far as with um, Brandon Graham. Brandon Graham is a cool dude. I mean, he was just, he was real humble. Um, um, he was able, you know, as far as him meeting uh, us as fans, I mean, he gave everybody the time of their life as far as, you know, um, asking questions. I mean, he gave me at least like a good 10 minute uh, conversation. I mean, it got to the point where I was just standing there asking him so many questions to the point where he didn't say, all right, let me let them blah, blah, blah. No, I just said, listen, I'm an Eagles content creator. Uh, you know, it's on my way. That's all I do is talk Eagles football. He said, that's what's up. Uh, I told him, I asked him about his leg. He said, his leg is a hundred percent. He said, he's ready to go. Uh, he just got to get his wind up his in his lungs together as he get on the football field. So, uh, you know, other than that, and I just told him, listen, talk to Howie. I just said, listen, before I go, just talk to Howie and uh, have him pick the right people. And, you know, he just laughed about it, shook hands. You know, I kept it moving. But other than that, I just can't wait to see the, for him to get back on the football field. Now, that leads me on to my next question. Uh, how many more years do you think Brandon, Ram Brandon Graham has into him? Meaning, as far as with us as the Eagles, uh, Dude, he got two, three years. We got four years into him. Now that's the only thing I did. I forgot to uh, ask him, like, how many more years left do you think you have into you? But um, that's why, as far as his mock draft, what leads me to think that they would go after David Ajahu, because one, he's from on um, the same school as uh, Brandon Graham, Michigan. They wearing he wearing the same number as Brandon Graham, but I'm pretty sure Brandon once uh, he comes in, David Ajahu come in, 
he could pick a different number. Maybe he could just be number five, you know, because uh, nowadays you could pick any number or he could be 56 or what have you. So now, um, again, if he was to come in, Brandon Graham could take him under his wing, teach him everything as far as, you know, as far as the handle, how, you know, blocks and all that. Because, I mean, with David, his speed to get to the quarterback is impeccable. Now, imagine him being on one side and Sweat being on the other side or Brandon Graham being on one side and David being on the arm. Um, so, uh, Brandon Graham plays the right and David plays the, uh, the left. I mean, imagine them. That's sex all day, especially on Carson Wentz. Um, so, other than that, I mean, you got Brandon Graham, you got uh, – Kerrigan, um, and then on, then you got uh, Fletcher Cox as far as playing. Like, what? Imagine if we was to either get David Ajahu or, uh, oh man, what's the big guy from Georgia? Um, Jason, Jason Walker. I mean, from as far as him being like what six four, six five, three forty, and he was running faster than uh, Jameis, Will, um, Jameis uh, Wilson, and uh. Oh, what's the other quarterback from the Browns? I mean, he was running faster than them, and he's he's holding three forty. And then he had made a um a new NFL record in the combine, far as him doing the uh the jump. So, I mean, listen, this is just this is going to be a special mock draft. But other than that, I mean, think about the comments. So just let me know what y'all think. Uh, who should we get at the fifteen? And let me before I go, I'm gonna tell you who we should get. As far as the, uh, our 15th, 16th, and 19th. So, and what we need to do is work on defense. Defense all day. Edge rusher, linebacker, cornerback. Uh, I believe, like I said, David Ajahu. We need um, maybe, maybe Dean. No, excuse me. Christian Harris. Christian Harris, linebacker for Alabama. I believe we should go after him because we already got a couple Alabama alumni on the Eagles as is now. So maybe Howie Roseman blowing smoke screen saying that they, we got a good RBC, uh, linebacker core. I understand we got TJ Edwards, but Avery, he's not doing it. Singleton, I mean, he's there. But then Jonathan Gannon, too, about this. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty. I'm glad that we're playing 3-4 defense, but at the same time, or 4, excuse me, 4-3 defense, but we need to leave that zone. Leave that alone. Just leave that alone completely. And, um, 19, we should get either Stingley, Booth, or Garner as far as cornerbacks. And then we can um, lean on wide receivers in the second round or either further down in the draft. So, um, I don't know. But other than that, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'm going to get with you with more Eagles content on the way. Till then, I'm going to... We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. You're sitting on the couch, you're watching... And your life is passing you by. You keep procrastinating over and over. Well, no, do it right now. Why are you making it complicated? It's easy.